All right, back on it. Been video for a little while. So I had to rebuild this uh, clutch arm here, rocker arm, rocker assembly. Of course, he put paint all over my bushing that I just made. There's no room for paint. Clean it out. Pick up cleaning tool right here. Green finger now. OD green. Oh, I missed a spot. I had to make a new bushing from scratch. So uh, uh, they had a piece of copper pipe or something jammed in there. That's why it was a little loose. I'm going to put a correct washer in there, thrust or um, fiber washer. This is the friction material. It had a piece of uh, nylon in there. Not sure how that worked. Probably not very good. All right, uh, this surface over here. Use friction materials, I recall. Let me see. No, that's not friction materials. I forget. It's been a while. We're missing some parts too. The chip didn't give me all the parts. I guess I'm not going to assemble very much. I'm going to use a tribodyne good grease. No matter work I put in the bush, I'm going to make sure it's well lubed. Jeff, where's the springs? You heard me. Still pretty damp. Fresh paint. It's a very tight bush, so it's not most of this grease is going to rub off. But we'll try. It's a lifetime lubricated. It'll never be lubed again, unless you squirt chain lubing or cable lube or something. No zerk fitting. It's supposed to be an oil light bushing material. I used a, it's actually a pinion bushing I think of an Evo Sporty. That's what I cut it out of. Piece of good bearing bronze. Good material, whatever it was. All right, so this the washer goes in there first, and you got your friction material, and you have the big one on here. Now they say this is the correct diameter, but it doesn't look very correct to me. That'd be the experts at V-Twin. Yeah. I had to do a lot of straightening on this lever. It's all bent to hell. The pure wants to fit in there very well. One ill-fitting material. This goes in there. The titty here goes into the, into the arm right here. Goes up into here like that. It also appears. All right, we're back. Camera died. All right, so where we left off, this is the V twin part. Made too small, doesn't fit. This is what it goes against. See, it's a little bit smaller than it's supposed to be. Which isn't too bad on that part, but on this part here with a big hole in it, it barely even hits on it. Not, not good. So, we have genuine NOS washers. These are Goodyear something. They smell like brake lining when you cut them. Anyway, these are for steering dampers. They have a 3 ace hole in them, so I had to cut them out for the just over 5 ace hole for a rocker clutch. So, anyway, here's the difference in diameter. A lot bigger. So, V-twin, no good. American-made stuff. Good. Got to modify it though. So now that goes on there and see it's a lot bigger diameter. Works a lot better. Okay, this piece here engages in the titty right there. Right like that. Boom. 
then this lever up here lug engages into this piece here which goes on the other side of the assembly it has spring tension on it and that's what pushes it all together and that's how it makes the lining work this is fixed to the pedal this is fixed to this and then this piece here is fixed to the mount so the lining goes in between the two pieces so that is how all of this works and then you have a cover that goes in over all this so you have to put the cover on it you have this on separate so that goes there cover goes on here and all these pieces go together this goes about over in this position that's a good spot for it there's a reason why they quit making it this way complicated a lot of parts works good though there's other ways of doing things so it has a quarter 24 round head screw holds the cover in it's best to get that in now before you bury it It's nice and fresh, so it's still tacky. Okay, it's tight. Probably metric anyway. Metric doesn't work on American wrenches. Uh, everything seems to be modified around here. Looks like American parts, but American tools don't fit it, so that means it's not American. Pulling parts. Pollocks make all kinds of stuff. Okay, these here are friction washers, or not friction, uh, spring washers for the friction material to put pressure on it. These are uh, zinc chrome plated type things, so this one is not original. That's why it broke. This one here, I'm not sure if it's original or not. These ones here I know are original because I packed them you know, many moons ago. So these are genuine Harley Davidson ones here. 45s take two, big twins take one. They just stack up on top of each other like that, gives you double attention. That's what puts pressure on the whole mechanism. That's the work. Okay, we have a lock tab here that I don't think they ever used on a 45. Mine doesn't have it. I'm not sure why you would need it. It's got tension on it. Where's it going to go? Okay, so you put your pedal in here. Got to get it just right for the shoulders to go in. Just enough off it won't go. There is no way of actually holding it where it needs to go. Let's 
try force. Force doesn't work. Unless it does. Okay, now it's in there where it belongs, but you see there's no tension on it. We have no, no tension parts on there yet. Okay, now you flip it over. This here goes in and engages in that tongue way on there. Like that. This is metal on metal here, it looks like. Nice design. It's been a couple years since I've done one of these, so I forget how nice these things are. Now you can put this piece on there. You can make sure you engage it in the down there in the drive lug where it belongs. <clears throat> and you get your two washers going. <clears throat> they go down. I never use this, but I'll put it on there anyway. And then I have the uh, the nut. And my fingers are sticky. It's been tagged with my fingerprints on it. Huh? That'll make Chip happy. Okay, now you just tighten this up. Comes over here, make sure everything's engaged where it belongs. Appears to be engaged where it belongs. Titties in the hole and stays put as you move it. Drive lug is engaged over here and stays where it belongs as you make it work. <clears throat> the way this works is you tighten this nut down until the rocker clutch stays put and you take your foot off. But no extra. That way it takes almost no effort to work the clutch. Okay, I'm going to go down until it's flush. The word flush. It's pretty, pretty stiff right now because there's no tension on it. Now we put the spring on here. It'll get stiffer. It'll, it'll get lighter on this part of it. This here is a spring that takes the load of the clutch, so it makes the pedal almost no effort to make it work. So it just engages in the hole right here. Engage in the stud up over here. Probably should tie the nut down before I get this too far in. Uh, another Polish part. What's up with all these Polish parts? Man, you know, it's all this metric crap. They're Polish. Yeah, I got a Polish. I got a Polish wrench right here. We used to call it the Mexican wrench, but now it's the Polish wrench. You're not going to watch me. You know I'm self-conscious. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, you're not. Hey, this doesn't fit. What? Add bottoms out before I get to it. Nah, you bastard. There, you just made it. Tension on that sucker. Look at that. It's not quite zero though. Got some. Got a little bit of mouse trap left in it. You know what that means, don't you? It means you need to take this Polish nut over here and tighten it up some more. Now it stays where it's supposed to. And when you hook your rock, you hook your clutch to it, and you do some final adjustment on it. Now you're gonna have to hook this up on this side over here, your cable. Yeah. 
and move that all the way down to here. Mm -hmm. Probably ain't gonna let us go that far, is it? No. Nope. So we have a bottom and out condition right here. Is that what that hole's for? To allow you to put the clevis like this in? This big hole in here? Yeah. No. Oh. They just put them in there. They had two here in the 40s. They put four holes in it. So, anyway, you can get to a little bit through the hole if you want. But you gotta get the clevis pin in here. Yeah. Clevis up on here and collar and all that. All right. There you go. All right, thank uh, you. I left out these genuine parts right you, here. You can keep those. Those are uh, those valuable. Are, those uh, Polish parts. They're made in Europe. What about these nice V-twin parts? These are pretty stinking valuable too. Yeah. Yeah, you can't buy junk like this just anywhere. I'm sure, they work just fine for big twins, but. You know, we're for squat for 45s. Some of that 40 and later junk. All right, so that's how you do it. Now I go see how it works on the bike. See, I had to custom bend everything. Next up, bike. All right, you got 10 minutes before I work on my race bike. At 12 noon dark, I work on my junk. No more customer crap. It'll be on private time. How'd the rocker clutch fit? Good. Went right on there? Yep. You got the cable hooked up yet? Yeah, I don't have the... I don't have the uh, cotter pin in yet. But Why not? Uh, I thought I'd put this on. Wow. Back of the primary still? Yeah. Starting to look like a motorcycle from this side. Yep. Check out this nice premium plastic friction material they put in there. Remember it is a combat bike. Now, do they supposed to know that's supposed to be friction material and not sliding material? <laughs> do they know the difference? Well, I don't think so. Yeah. But, you know, it wasn't always uh, in the hands of the military. Mm -hmm. Now I heard some comments about the uh, military air cleaner mounting system bracket. You didn't think too much of that? Oh, did you hear me? <laughs> did you hear me back there? You were moaning quite a bit. It was uh, a draw between the coil mount yeah. where I'm sure they hired Chinese slaves. Yeah, they were trying to, he had a little issue in here, trying to get mounting bracket, coil, bolt, and everything in one spot. And they kind of, the coil sits on top of the bolt, and the coil has to be in before the bracket goes in, so we're not sure how you're supposed to do that one, but anyway, it's uh, it's fun. And it's in. And it's staying in. And you're not taking it back out, just, that wasn't a mock-up. No, that was not a mock-up. That was a physical that, installation. That was a mock-up three times. That's While a, I was trying to set it up. You mocked it up every time you put another piece in there, you, you had to take it back apart. Every time. Do, have you put the crash bar on the bike yet? No. Oh. Do you think that's going to clear all that? I'm hoping. <laughs> it might. Let me see that. Uh... So this could be doing burnouts tomorrow? Uh, you'll be doing. Burnouts. Only if you bring it up to the antique drags next Saturday. Fontana. Mm -hmm. You can bring it up there, and break it in. That's a thought. Of course, I was going to take my panhead race bike and not my 45 military race bike. Of course, I have to work on it before I can do it. You got about five more minutes left. Let me work on my stuff. Okay, I'm going to have to clear all this crap out of my way over here so I can work on it. Where's that? Over, over here? Oh, this junk. Oh, I thought you said set my stuff up over there. Well, that was like how many hours ago? Yeah. Well, I didn't know it was. See, we need rack for my material. Like temporary. i got to clear this pile off, too. See, there's a pan head there in pieces, but that's what's left of Fred's 49. 
That could go on the bike almost. Well, almost. Almost. I'll put it down here in the, yeah, we have a, in the aisle. I cleared that whole rack off the other day. and It didn't take long to get filled up with crap again. Now you do realize that everything in that aisle back there has to move. When? About five more minutes because I have a motorcycle back there I got to get out. Oh man, then why did you tell me? See that one way back there that's in the dark? That's what's coming back here? That has to go by like three bikes to get out of there. You better hurry up and put that stuff on your motor vehicle. Hey, I'm dead. Oh, you're just getting broken in. I've been going since six o'clock this morning. Well, it's time for you to get on the my, second half of that my day. other jobs. You got the second half of the day coming up. You know, you could put that crash bar on the bike. Where's that crash bar? I don't have the energy tonight. Where's that crash bar at? Over there in the corner. Did you tighten up the uh, toolbox yet? Or the, did you tighten up the back of the box bolts? Did you tighten up the bolts on the top of the fender? What's that? Did you tighten up the bolts on the back of the fender up there? They tighten up. Everything. Everything. Right here. We're gonna put the crash bars. Box now. We're gonna put the crash bars on tomorrow. You still need to put the correct uh, speedometer bracket that I bought you on there. What? You mean I bought one? It's here. Yeah, those in that box of stuff that set oh, aside. Yeah. That looks like this is upside down. Looks this way. That looks a lot better. Yeah, we thought we'd finish it off tomorrow. Oh, look at that. I got it half on. You mean it's sitting there? You know you're supposed to have a crash bar on before the clipboard goes off. Yeah, I know. That's a, that was another mock-up. We are just doing a mock-up just to be sure that we got the mock-up last time. The mock-up before the last mock-up was good? Yeah. Look at that. Crash bar is half on the bike. It's a good thing we don't have any mounting bolts laying around that we could use. Look at that. I wonder if this is even the right one. It looks like about the right one. My good stuff is out of the aisle. What about your bad stuff? The what? And what about the bad stuff? You mean back here? You said your good stuff is out of the eye. What about the bad stuff? I don't have any bad stuff. Oh, okay. My wife always calls my stuff junk. That's right, it is junk. How come this doesn't fit the uh, part here? What's that? How come this U-bolt doesn't fit? Well, is that the right one? It has little, to be. It's a little tight. It needs a little bit of precision adjustment. Well, we've got that. The precision adjuster. You want the big one or the little one? Uh, it has to be something different. Oh. Yeah, it has I to be. I'm going to finish moving this, this stuff. The junk? No, not junk. There it goes. You didn't think I could figure that out, did you? Why don't they mark something on here like which ends up? That's supposed to be OD green, you know that, don't you? This? Yes. Not anymore. Yeah, it's supposed to be painted green. It goes this way. You didn't put no lock washers on here. What happened to all your lock washers? You got extra. extra. It's supposed to go on this bolt. Uh, There's my tool. I saw you starting to steal my tool. I'm not trying to steal your tool. Look at that. Okay, I got my half of the crash bar mounted. Yeah, that looks good. You did, you did wonderful. Yeah, that took me at least 20 minutes. Okay, I gotta move this stuff out of the way. Is there stuff in the way over there? Yeah. Fancy clutch I'm washer. Get my crap out of here. You could put that crap on the bike. No, I can't. I, I'm wiped out. It's too early to be wiped out. I don't usually say that. It's I barely even 12 o'clock. I have a, yeah. I have a phobia about failing in front of soldiers. Uh-oh. I'm wasted. And i got to repair a two inflatable boats tomorrow. You mean i got to do all this work by myself now? 
tonight. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is yours. What's mine? That's, That's that. my brand new case race you're trying to take. No. I cleaned it up, oiled it up. Look at that. Wrapped it up. You got a whole rack you can put stuff on over here because somebody cleaned the rack off. Yeah. Amazing how that worked, huh? And I don't know what happened, but I'll tell you one thing. There's a lot of leftover parts still sitting on to be put on that bike. Well, not only that, uh, one of the th three bolts to put the tool carrier on. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, one of the uh, oval head bolts. The what? Oval head bolts. Oh, is that what they are? They're screws, actually, yeah. Oh, well, guess what? I don't have any. Oh. Uh, you got any? There's usually a big washer that goes in there, too, with them. It's a big... Uh, washer with a big dimple in it. That's the crash bar. Need that and some washers. A F, the aft section. Yes. Crash bar. So your, you know, all your toolbox mounting hardware disappeared? I wouldn't be surprised it wasn't original anyway. No, it was not oval. It was... Uh, bolts. Bolts. Yeah, it's supposed to be uh, oval head, straight slot screws. Countersunk. That's how toolboxes are made. Fred is around here somewhere. You can steal his. I, I think there's one in all this pile somewhere. Look at all this junk. He just leaves his junk laying all everywhere. See? See, now you're, now you're calling his good stuff junk. That's right. Look at all my junk. I got junk everywhere. All your good stuff. I'm trying to figure out where that red fender came from. Whose red fender is that? Uh, that, that was sitting... That was sitting right over here, and we were doing something. Oh, it was, oh it was over here, and we were going for the... Oh. And we didn't want to scratch it, so... Oh, no, that's original paint of some type on there. Yeah, that's, that's, we thought it was original. Yeah. I can, put on, I can put on this painted bike right here. That's about $1,000. That's another bike i got to put together and see if somebody wants to buy it. 159 panhead. Ugly-ass swing arm. I don't know who would want a swing arm anyway. If it ain't a rigid frame, it's not a Harley. So he's going to come by tomorrow and help you finish that and get it off the rack. Yep. It's going to be heavy. Well, what, tomorrow is what day? The day after tomorrow. Sunday? Monday? We got customers coming in Monday. It used to be Saturday, but I think now that it's past 12, it's probably Sunday now. Oh, man. We gotta hurry up and go take my meds. Yeah. I wasted a whole day on your bike. I was a chief supervisor, or supervisor. Yeah. All right, so what are you doing tonight? 1957 Pan Ed race bike, disassemble. Where is it? It's back there. Cool. I got I to gotta clear. I got to spend an hour clearing all this crap out of here. I got to get, get rid of this junk bike here. I got to move this junk motor. I got to clear off that rack. How are you going to get it up I got to move this up out of here. How are you going to get it up there? This one, it goes up and down. Oh, that's the one you're going to... Well, there's a bike on there already. That bike's coming off. Oh, it's... so you're doing some major moves. Well, I was working on the move the other day, and I got sidetracked by 45 military bike. Really? Yeah. Somebody wanted me to work on their tranny. My goodness. I don't know why. I must be one heck of a great guy. And I, did, I cut three days off my race bike building time. That must have been one heck of a great guy. To... Yeah, now I mention all those customers that are screaming for their parts. What customers? And the ones that want their junk done instead of my race bike. Didn't you tell them? I need to go get some speed. So. And I'm not going to wait till the last minute, I'm going to wait till the last week.
Bed will be the last minute because <laughs> we ain't got time. I got Sunday to work. My Saturday got used up. You're still getting that screw on there? That's a long winded screw. What? That's a long winded screw. Well, you have to get it down below the hole for the. Trying to move junk out of the Junk in this shop. Only good stuff. Only good stuff. That's music. From where? <laughs> I don't know. It's not music. It's a bunch of banging noise. That's music in the around here. That's what we call music. There used to be a guy in the band in the back, but I thought he moved out a year ago. Look, I got that rack halfway cleared off. You like how much I cleared that rack so quickly? Look at that. Holy cats, what'd you do with all that crap? Look at this, I gotta move this now. That's in the way. That's gonna go over there. And Chip's gonna help me do it. He's gonna supervise me. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. But it's moved. Yes. Somebody oh, spilled junk on the floor. Now he needs to go back up front. I saw stuff Dave was trying to steal from me. No, he wasn't going to steal it. It's all these riveting tools. Mine are rustier than his. <laughs> that was hard to beat, that. It's hard to beat that rusty, you know? Ow! How come it's in a toolbox? Look at this. Oh, look what I found under here. I found a Parker I-516 fine nut. Was I that was looking for that. Was that the one you were looking for? Did you find a screw? No, oh, I'm not looking for screws. I'm looking for riveting tools. Oh. Oh, look at all that junk out of there. Oh. Uh -oh. Oh, I found the part number here too. Uh oh, 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 here it is. Never mind, I found it. We need to paint these tables. What color do you want to paint them? Paint color so you can see the little parts that are lying in the shadows. See the parts that are in the way? All right, oh, there's one more that was on the floor. I knew there'd be one missing. Look at that. I almost got away. All right. You got room to get around your bike? If I could climb up there. You want to climb up on top of the floor? Well, you said if I wanted to get up on my bike. Right? Where's your screw at? I was looking for your screw that you lost. It's well, dark under there. You got a flashlight? Just the one on my phone. Oh, that doesn't work very well. 
Are you saving us? Is it junk? I just threw away. It must have been. There's junk if we threw on the floor over here. We don't need no junk. Somebody has a mess over here. Long chain. Yeah, we love chain. When are we gonna uh, zap it? Tomorrow? Zap it? We want to make it shorter. What do you want to do with it? it? Needs to be shorter. Oh. Uh, how much shorter? Like uh, 40 lengths. 40 lengths. Change it all? Yeah, it's hanging on the ground. Well, how long of a chain did you buy? Uh, I thought I was buying one to fit this bike. Where's the box it came in? It didn't come in the box. Where'd you get it from? From, uh. Well, I got it in 09. 1909? Pretty close. Pretty close to 1909? Pretty close. I keep doing that. I hate it when I keep doing that. Okay, where's the grease? Uh oh. Now what'd you do wrong? You gotta take the vacuum plate off, put that on, don't you? Put that in there. I told you to put all that stuff in there before. Okay, where's this chain at? In here. Okay, roll it around to this rocket in the back. How come it's dragging so much on a chain gun? Why is it dragging on a chain guard? Uh, Something, something's not right. Well, I don't have it in there yet. It's you just, got it in the hole. It shouldn't be dragging at all. It's just resting. It's not tightened up. It's just resting. Yeah. Okay. It's, now, if you put the, if you pull it back now, the other way. This, this way. Where's the end of the chain at? Right here. Okay. Get the mouse link out of there. Roll that up onto the sprocket and put the other chain across the top of go from top down. And then you can see the overlap in order to cut the chain without screwing it up, cutting it too short. Now the axle's where? All the way forward right now? Yeah. Okay, so we gotta make sure we don't cut it shorter than what we need. Gotta cut it longer. Okay. Okay, put it up on the sprocket and then roll it around. Roll it around to where? Rotate the wheel. There you go. At some point, it'll hold itself up from gravity and weight. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got it where you want it? Oh, it's awful loose, isn't it? Well, it's all right. The wheel goes back. That doesn't take much to move it back that much. Okay, look at that. I got to get in here. Well, we're halfway. 
We're halfway back already. All right, look out. There's only room for one of us back there. It should stay if you got in the right spot. Okay. What's your head on that? Here, you're in charge of filming. Keep me up on it. Make sure you don't screw up now. I'll try not to, but that wasn't my MOS. MOSB, you spell mouse? Just a musketeer club? Military Occupation Specialty. Okay. All right, I'll get away from my fat butt back here because i got to be able to get all the way back here. Okay, so right now, that's called a half link. We're not going to do a half link. So, did you pull this thing all the way up to the next link or not? See how it doesn't go to the next link? Yeah. Unless it just did. No, see that's a half link. Can't do a half link. We've got to do a full link. So that means we got to drop it back to here. See? Full link. Now we can put it right there. And you're going to have this much free play. Camera. That's a lot of free fun. That's play. looser than I normally run it on my bike. Well, let's not r do it that way then. Now, is this axle actually all the way forward, or you just said it was all the way forward? No, no, I said it's halfway forward. Oh, so it's not all the way forward. No, yet. should we move it all the way forward? Well, right now you got to move it all the way back to take up this much slack. Exactly. So when I asked you a question, you should have told me the correct answer. If I knew what the answer was, I would have told you the correct answer. You should have answer. said that it was not all the way forward yet. I said it was halfway forward. Yeah. Okay, so instead of cutting it at the half length, we're going to cut it at the full length. And if it's the wrong spot, we're in trouble. It's too bad. We'll put in two half lengths, or two, uh, whatever the lengths are. Get my fingers dirty. Ah, there we go. I got something cold on my butt right now. What is it? Your battery. Oh, my battery? Okay, I only got a battery at my butt. That's fine. Oh, this chain's not very strong. Your lift truck. Oh, do you hear that thing break? Not yet. It appears you bought a hundred and uh, about twenty length chain. For something you need like ninety-eight. That means we cut through. I'll see how easy it got all of a sudden. See how uh -huh. it's easy now? Yep, yep. Now you're gonna do the back side, so when you get to when you get the pin all the way, it'll fall out. There's your pin. Okay, you want to save that, right? So the way this works is, you got to make sure the pin the pin's out of the way. Then you take your chain, and stick it in here. You got to rotate this back a little bit. Lightly tighten this up with your fingers. Unlike dumbass customer, you don't need a damn pair of channel locks to do that. It doesn't have to be tight. And you tighten this side up here like this. With a ratchet handle. <clears throat> it doesn't work this way. Now you can either flip the lever like that, or you can flip the wrench over like this. It's multifunctional. There is no wrong way or right way. This is pushing the pin right through. You can see it got hard. It's going to the last link. And then say it got easy. That means it's free to fall out. There it is. We got two pins. Now if you undo that a couple there. Now when you undo this pin, it'll drop out onto the floor when it's all the way out. There it is. You always put the pin back out of the way. And now it's ready for an important job down the road for somebody else. You mean another important job? Yeah, now see, nobody stole this tool yet. They took my rivet tool, but they haven't got this one yet. Those guys. When you loan your tools out, you don't always get them back. Now, this is an extra piece in case you're a little bit too short. You can add this in there. Okay. And I fortunately have several master lengths. To... Now, see how this does not fit in here? Uh oh. See, we, we need an extra long master length. Uh oh. I don't so have you one. You might have to move the axle forward a little bit. Okay. So I would recommend that you move this forward about 10 flats. Okay. And that'll probably get you where you can put the clip through it. Mm hmm. You master the block and you'll be good. So that's something you can do later. And while I do that, 
I can just take that wheel out and put that. Yeah, there's there's a couple things you have to do before you put a wheel on a 45. One is you got to put the exhaust bolt in here. Uh huh. Well, I remember that. And then you got to put the clamp on here for the crash bar. And I got a feeling we had the wheel back on before we did the parkerizing. Mm hmm. And so that. So this nasty looking parts back here, you mean? And the, the, you didn't paint the you didn't repaint the backing plate either. Yeah. It's got original rusty finish on there. Okay. So this is back before we did a full restoration on it. This was back when we were now. See down. this see this piece of crap or a custom piece of crap here you got on the bike. Yeah. We bought brand new uh, colony yeah. stuff for I'll you. I'll change that. And it looks a lot better than that homemade stuff. Well, I got to take this off anyway, so. And we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do about the oil lines up there because some dumbass made the lines fit back there and did not put the speedo cable up in there where it belongs. I don't know who that was, but. How did the speedo cable get there in the first place? It goes right up where that bolt is. There's a clamp that goes up there. Right up where? So we need to take. Right here. We need to take something apart. The cable goes right through here. See this cable? Yeah. It goes right through here. Oh, man. Right where these lines are out. Now the little line is the one that's in the way because the big line can move over a little bit. Yeah. Just the little line that has to be redone. Well, we can just move that down and over. Well, you don't want to get too close to the head, but. Yeah. How do we get that cable out? Because did you look at the other side? No. It looks like it's wedged between the fins. Uh, I don't know. You know, if you. Right here. I bet you if you hit it with a big hammer, it'll go out. Really? Yeah. Fin might come off, but it'll be, you know, it'll be all right. It's optional. All I know is if it lays on top of the head like that, it's going to get a little hot and it's going to burn the grease out of it. That's why probably it, it failed before. Now that I got a brand new... That's a brand new cable in there? Brand new cable, brand new speedometer, re rebuilt. Brand new to you? Well, everything's brand new to me. Okay, seriously, you need to get to work on your bike. I do? Yes, seriously. I was going to tie down your bike so it doesn't fall out. There you go. Power off. I've got to put my tools back before somebody takes them. Oh, he's got some alcohol beverages here. Some what? Alcoholic beverage. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look at that. That'll thicken them up. <laughs> That'll thicken you up. You could take your diaper off if you put that on. <laughs> All right, I got one rack almost cleared. You know how much work it's going to have to move this rack? I got to clear up. I got to rip up half this floor. Where are you going to move it? I'm going to put that damn toolbox underneath that table. But see, there's a little problem. It's bigger than the hole. You know how much work that's going to be? That's yeah. going to take a while. And it's got to go under there? Well, it's either that or i got to put it somewhere else in my way. I'd rather put it under there out of my way than in my way. Uh, and I how got, about underneath that I gotta, table? And i got to clear all this crap out over here, all Fred's crap. Oh my goodness. But I think I'm just going to put all Fred's crap on top of this open rack right here. And Fred's not even here. Fred was going to come by and help. He's coming by? Yeah, he said so. Yeah. That was three days ago, though. Yeah. I mean, it was four days ago. I think it was three days ago. Well, did he say He didn't when? say which day it was. Yeah. <laughs> or year. You need to get to work. I need to get to bed. All right. We're going to get some work done. See you tomorrow. we got to do a little rearranging the shop. So we'll come back after it's rearranged. That won't be there when I get done. All right. We got the drag bike out. That's the 57 pan. So it's almost two. Yeah, not too bad. So his bike's all over here still sitting there. So I cleared the shop up a little bit. Aisle's a little bit bigger going that way. Cleared all this crap off. It's over there now. Got the toolbox cleared off. Got everything over here on the rack. Got the 59 sitting on here and the motor, so that goes together when I get around to it. So I got room to work on my race bike. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. I can either put a cam in it, leave the top end alone, or you know, leave shovel heads on it. We'll leave it alone. Top end's coming off no matter what. So I can either leave it alone, 
or I'm going to go ahead and put a panhead top on it, try to lose those handlebars. Front end's got to come off, be all fixed. Be nice to get a newer tire in the back. Something a little bit of traction up here would be nice. It is a drag bike. But yeah, we'll see. It's a lot of work. I got a day. Yeah, maybe two. Yeah, we'll figure it out. That's tomorrow's project. So anyway, got a got a shop all opened up again. I don't have very often. I'll give it three days. It'll be full of shit again. All right, that's it for night.